Hey, 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 this is the boat doctor. Down California Street, Kirk Boat Ramp. Beautiful day. No balloons up in the sky today. It was a moon. I thought I seen a balloon, but it was a moon. Anyway, that was a joke. Haha. -ha. Anyway, this is a 24 Pacific uh, Navigate. Navigator. Beautiful boat. These handle awesome. By the way, we got uh, four by four bunks with slicks on the trailer, double dip galvanized keel ro roller. Of course, the keel doesn't is meant to run on that. That's just a guide so it doesn't hit the cross member. Spare tire, two speed Fulton Jack, <laughs> which is nice. I like these because they don't rust on you and you pull out on this. If you put your finger through, you're on the extra low speed. Here's your neutral. You just pull out and flip over. Sometimes you got to push down to release that so it pops. Uh, I got the top coupler. Uh, anyway, brake fluid is up underneath here. I checked. All you have to do is make sure this is all the way out and you can spin the cap. Uh, you got a round seven. You got safety chains on that. You got the anchor guard. Kind of nice little S turn to it. Anyway, that's so when you pull up the anchor, it doesn't whack the side of your paint. You got the spool winch. We're starting to install quite a few of those. And it looks like it's kind of got like a level wine sort on that right here. But that helps also so that chain doesn't drag on this. That's what that's for. You got the good old uh, Bruce anchor, or plow anchor, clam L, clam anchor, whatever you want to call it. You got the two spot go lights with wireless remotes. You got the Garmin Phantom, which is a good one. You got the 24 GPS antenna I'll calibrate. You got shallow deck, that's what you want. You got your gas fill there, your window stop there, single wiper, two pin halves windows. You can pull that whole window, and there's a gold wing door where you can flip that up, open that up and without snapping the canvas, partial hardtop, backdrop. You got grease fittings on those, so you want to shoot some grease in there once in a while. And then you got uh, gear bath oil hubs. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, brown, good, white, bad, five lug. You got. Uh, these are probably ST 215, 25, 14s. And rocket launchers up top to rear deck lights, uh, 5225 VHF. You got uh, 146 on the Scotties uh, trim tabs. We had them fixed, the purple wire was off. We're gonna go ahead and put some liquid glue on the trim tab switch. Uh, welded on zings, that's the way to go. A better connection instead of just the bolt-on style. We got a 99 high thrust. 11 by 7 you got a 300 v6 with a 4.2 now on the 4.2s are the gear cases and the 3.6 is stainless is good it doesn't hurt them because you got a heavier gear case and they're 15 by 15 and now there is a big difference in prop this is a saltwater series 2 prop i'd recommend that on any v6 on up because they're different cupping on these are sharper uh and you can pick up speed all Boats are going to vibrate. You're going to vibrate a little bit more with stainless than you would with aluminum. But on the V6s, you don't get near that vibration. It can handle it. If you get the Saltwater 2 Series, you got the GT51. You got the folding ladder. Now, they got to go ahead and drill another hole for this lower step. Uh, because if you pop up on that, like this right here. If you don't have that pin going through there like that, if I take that out and you step on that ladder, it's going to go down. So they need to fold it up and re a hole into this. Uh, you got reverse chine hole. This is an 18 by 28 by 34 degrees. So it's 18 in the rear. Offshore goes all the way back. It's 24 foot. If you want to actually count, it's 26.2. So actually, just if the bar was restricted to 26, you could make it out in this boat. Uh, grab handle, heavy duty uh, tie down, um, oh, whatever you want to call it line block extra zinc now these are total salt water protected stainless steel prop shaft drive shaft in both of these two coats of clear two coats of primer you got zincs on every cylinder zincs on the block you got your p-hole here these are your latches mid exhaust you got over here is your uh, freshwater flush you can hook that up to that but do not run the motor if you have this this has got two intakes here so if you're running on the hose if you don't have the bullet flusher that goes here you need a bullet one and then one here, but if you don't have it, tape this and then put this on, then maybe run a Y off to this and then start the motor. If you're just using that one, do not start the motor. Uh, 2023, made in the US. Your bath oil brown, good. Knife is filled. Uh, you can use regular air, it ain't gonna hurt it. Uh, sliding windows, net holders, cleats. 
where they belong not yet we're, we're heading there after the old video here real quick oh yeah these ride nice really nice uh and then big old holes in the side over there you got foot jack which is good yeah they're uh a rear entry door yeah the 24s are awesome uh cup holders yeah yeah that's any 24 is good uh live well hi oh yeah you don't have to worry about canvas there's a horse down hole you can take that though if you want it the guy wanted it there you got drains here well the down rigger brackets you can just drop that hose down in there but watch it so it doesn't sit on top of that uh battery charger here's your plug for that here's your wash down switch down riggers got that's for your light well over there for this here you got your primer bulbs here you got your if it was me i would switch those off to the not on the kicker so much but i would switch that to uh the 10 micron yamaha and, and change them once a year auto bilge pump seacock valves for your live well and wash down right here your on off switch right here batteries are under there this is kind of a mini fish box basically it'll drain right into your build there's your um, seat braces that go between the seats um I didn't see the oh what do you call it oh the ski pylon you got your rear deck 24 got a calibrate phantom so these come out and then bars go across you and then you take these and put them in as fillers but I didn't see the ski pylon you got suspension seats you got the backs that move here tilt up arms they swivel they slide you got your adjustment there 703 control box you got DEC controls there you got your compass here these are the remotes for the spotlight i'll mark those pns and then on these is really nice you go like this you pop that up and open up and you can get on out on that you got your uh, usb ports another little storage spot there and then right over there is another seacock valve now that's open so if any water gets into that it'll drain out but if that's closed the water will stay into that fish box and he's gonna put some liquid glue on the connectors they always they use faders and they we just don't want you to have a problem and have no trim tab so he's gonna do that when i get back here's your other remote you got your good yamaha fuel flow gauge there put in 50 gallons of non-ethanol you got the good garmin uh hook up active cabin on your phone i'm telling you it's easy and it's any software it'll do it automatically when you go in just do what it says and take your time let it download it'll take a little bit but you can even do it on the water because it's got a built-in hot spot lights here they're on on you can control them from here or you can control them from right here and that's one nice thing here i can go up here see how it's turning up and down then if you hit function that returns it you can hit off and it'll rotate them down there you go see boom boom so i'm going to turn them off you can go like this and that shuts them off Okay, then accessories, I don't know on that. You got port, you got a starboard wiper. If you did have a port water make, wiper, make sure you don't turn on the wiper when that window is open. I'm sure it might clear, but sometimes they'll stick on that window. Horn works, nav lights work. I'll turn them on, bilge pump works. Courtesy lights, they work. And then up there, the nav lights. I'm sure they work i'm going to do the windlass because that's got a free fall on it you got your vhf here and i'll show you all this stuff when i get out there i'm going to go ahead and flip the switch real quick got to have the lanyards on and i'll see how if the fuel yep fuel reef so this is a 65 gallon tank eco flow 12 volts so we're good to go so the next one i'm going to set up 
your electronics get all that set calibrate that compass and then i'll do a video on the running out and again if you have your courtesy lights you got them there as well and i am going to go and have fun this is a boat doctor 24 foot pacific pro beautiful boat go go wing door you'll love it i like these in rough water the 235 and the 240 boy they fly you may think that front end's low but it will it'll go boat doctor out